What you see behind me is uh, Lu Empe, one of my favorite Mexican restaurants. Jaime, the owner, is an amazing human and also take you back into the kitchen. All right, let's go. We're back. We have the owner of Lu Empe, Jaime. Jaime, how are you? I'm very good, Victor. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much, Sky, for coming. Thank you, Bill. What I love about Lu Empe is when I first came here, it reminded me of my grandmother's cooking. What is Lu Empe? Well, Victor, uh, you already mentioned it to grandma, your grandma. So that's one of the things that with the name of the restaurant has. You know, we have uh, Lu Empe, which is Lu, my mom, Lupe, and then um, Petra is my grandma. And most of the recipes it are from them. We are from uh, Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. Yeah, this is uh, all about the name, Lu Ampe, and, and Lupe and Petra. My, my grandma, you know, like you say, she make a really good tamales, good recipes. And, and um, since I was a child, uh, I started learning from my mom too many things, you know, salsas, guacamole, yeah. um, everything, you know. Uh, we have one of the best tamales in the Antelope Valley. Your style of food is from the state of Jalisco, That's right? correct, yeah. So one of those uh, things is the birria. The birria, uh, uh -huh. um, We usually make it in Jalisco, uh, uh, the, the goat, the chivo. The chivo, goat, uh, yeah. yeah my, most of the people, um, some people like here, but most of the people like the beef. You know? yeah. That's what we are, uh, go for the beef, birria. And, and you know, we have, we're using very good ingredients for, for that. And, and that's one of the most popular place here because you're actually gonna be taking us uh, to the kitchen and you're gonna show us in real time how you uh, put these ingredients together, right? Oh, definitely, yeah, Victor. Yeah. And also I'm gonna show you how to make our chile verde. For, oh, they love it, the chile verde. I order a chile verde burrito. It's life changing. It'll change your life. You also do catering, right? Oh yeah, definitely. We are doing a lot of catering, especially in this season, you know. Uh, graduation, you know, graduation. Uh, weddings, uh, Sweet 16. Um, you know, we have a, a couple of maybe that, um, um, in graduation, we have a lot of people that they ask for tacos. And, and in the wedding day, most of the time they ask for the chile verde and tamales. They really love it. Whatever you guys want it, you just come over and, and I will give you a good call. You guys taste. Uh, I'm gonna give you a first taste test of the food that you wanted, and, mm -hmm. and we go from there. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Let's go back. Jaime is not only gonna make some other uh, other dishes for us, but he's gonna walk us through on his tamales and what makes a good tamal, right, Jaime? Oh, that's correct, uh, Victor. Uh, you, we are in the right place, and then uh, we are gonna show you first uh, the tamales, and then we are gonna show you how to make the chile verde. Awesome. We don't have too many uh, ingredients in the tamal. We just have the, to have the masa. Uh, uh, we have some um, baking powder, and also we have uh, the lard, very important. There is another thing very important, which is the beef that you are gonna use. We, we, we have to put all the ingredients, like uh, chile colorado, garlic, salt, uh, all the ingredients for the meat. And then when the tamal cook, it's gonna, it's gonna be you know, very moist and, and, and fluffy that the tamal. We don't want a hard tamal. We, we need a fluffy tamal that when you open and taste it, oh my God. So it's gonna be really good tamal for you guys. And then you can have it by dozen or by single. Whatever. And it comes with arroz, frijol, yeah. right? We, we have a combination plate, the two tamales with rice and beans. Uh, most of the time we have it in a special. So you can have the uh, two tamales, rice and beans for $7.99. And a drink. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Okay, Victor, um, I'm gonna, we are gonna cook some uh, chile verde pork. We already cooked uh, this uh, uh, meat. So, what we are gonna do for the chile verde, we are gonna put some uh, tomatillo, green, uh, some um, uh, cilantro, garlic, uh, serranito chile, and uh, some onions, and also we are gonna put some salt. Okay, for this good salsa on the meat, we are gonna let it uh, boil it for about five minutes. This is one of the best uh, 
a place that the people ask me in the, in the restaurant. We, we can make burritos, we can make the plate with rice and beans, uh, we can make, uh, make uh, uh, wet burritos also with a salsa on the top. Oh, this is really good, yeah. We coming back and we will check it out how it's everything, okay? The birria is um, really most, I really like, I like a shredded beef. The esmillo is a really good and tender uh, meat. Birria is also one of the most popular places in, the, in this restaurant too. Well, we use the, the Chile California, we use garlic, we use pimienta, comino, we use um, laurel, we use the um, guajillo, and def, um, yeah, most of those are the, the ingredients for that one, yeah. We have to wait like about probably four or five hours to make that meat very tender. Long process. But at the end, oh, you will enjoy the beer. Oh, absolutely. Definitely. Absolutely. Oh, this is, this is perfect, Victor. You guys want to enjoy this one, yeah. And then that, the meat has to be really tender, really tender, so it's not going to be hard, and, and definitely it's going to be really good, yeah. The way that we serve uh, the plate for the chile verde is that rice and beans. We put some um, chile verde in here, and then... Um, some tortillas for you guys and ready to go and then we put some onions and some cilantro on the top and this is your chile verde victor the birria victor has to be with the one really spicy salsa oh my god some people like to after after saturday or friday they ask <laughs> In the morning, they are looking for too some. Much party. Yeah. <laughs> they are looking for some menudo and birria, and, and you guys already know where to come, okay? So we put some uh, onions and also some uh, cilantro on top, and also some cilantro. I'm ready to enjoy, and I'm gonna put some salsa on the table for you. This is the special salsa that we make it for the birria, Victor. Oh my God, this, you, you are gonna love this one, yeah. Especially like you say before, when you have a, a lot of party last night, oh my God, this is gonna wake up. It's gonna <laughs> yeah. wake, wake you up. Huh? Yeah. So, your tortillas and you have to enjoy the video, you know, this is really good, Victor, also, yeah. Hi, man. This looks very good. So these are the most popular items. Yeah, your tamales, exactly. your chile verde, Siria and your pozole. You got it, Victor. Those wow. are the ones. So, well, now comes the toughest part of my job <laughs> is trying all of this deliciousness. So it's going to be hard work, but I'm going to try it, Jaime. There you go, all right. Victor. So I'm going to open some tamales for you. Sure, sure. I'm just going to show you the way that it's going to look inside. Look at this, uh, uh, Victor. And that one this is the cheese with rajas. Chile jalapeno. Yeah, oh, this cheese and jalapeno, so guys. I love it. Before. You gotta try this. I'm gonna take my first bite of the uh, chile verde. You, I can't speak. I can't say enough about this one here. I mean, I wanna cry so good, <laughs> guys. The saltiness. The you can taste the limon, the citrus. The marinade, the beef, it, or I'm sorry, the uh, the pork, it's just so good, yeah, so good. We, we and this is food. this is your family recipe. Oh yeah, definitely. My my mom, you know, my mom. That's one of them. My place for for my mom. Yeah. yeah. I gotta leave room for everything else, but mm -hmm. it's just so hard. It's so hard. Mm -hmm. Next next up is the. Tamales. Okay. I gotta have a couple bites of the tamal mm -hmm. and then we'll venture out into the uh, pozole. Mm -hmm. I love spicy, and mm -hmm. this is your <clears throat> your spicy salsa, yeah, right? That's the one that's uh... All right, guys, so this is the uh, raja, which is the uh, chile con uh, queso, right? Mm -hmm. Monterrey Jack and chile jalapeno. Yeah. I love that it's not dry. 
That's the chicken in, in green salsa. Green, green, green. So good. And last but not least is the uh, beef. Yeah, the right? pork, the pork, the oh, pork. this is the pork, sorry, of course. And <clears throat> your it has just around just the right amount of spicy. <laughs> I love it. Mm. Very flavory also because we used uh, a lot of ingredients for the uh, to cook the pork. We have a customer from Las Vegas, Utah, Arizona. They they really love that. There is people who are traveling in a in a mobile uh, in a mobile, mobile, mobile home. Mobile, so how? Uh, they stop here. Home, yeah. They stop here every year. I have customers that they say, really? "Oh my God!" So uh, uh, next year we are coming back. So we are here for you guys. That's so. great. And thank you for your How support. does that? How does that make you feel? Oh my God! Uh, when you, it, I can explain you before because when when they are a lot of people, they are blessing now our. Uh, restaurant, they say, oh, I hopefully next year you are going to be here. And with all the support with the, my customers, you know, we are we are keeping going. Yeah, yeah. It is it is been a hard time, but uh, you know, thank you <coughs> that uh, and the support of uh, all of my customers and the Spanish chamber. Um, we are here because yeah, I'm glad that you're open. You're open. You're allowed to have dine in again. And uh, that you made it. So congratulations and oh. th to our community. We can't thank you enough. You know everybody that uh, supported every small restaurant as much as they could. One of my favorite dishes is the birria. There's some cilantro right there. Oh have. yes, can't forget the cebolla. And everything is always fresh, right? Yeah, always. We always be yeah. prepped. Yeah, we, we, every day. Amen. You are a magician. Your mom and your grandmother are, should be very proud of you. I want to thank Jaime from Luempe. It was interesting and it was great to hear, you know, the the what what went behind the name Luempe. You know that uh, so you're sharing that inspiration from your from your mother and your grandmother. Yes, you know, and you're keeping their name alive by. You know, opening your restaurant in their name. Uh, is there anything else that you uh, want to say? No, well, Victor, thank you for coming and give us the opportunity Absolutely. to show up uh, the people. And I'm so happy that uh, from the people that I still, uh, they are coming and, and support the business. I really appreciate them. Thank you, AV community, for supporting our local family owned restaurants. You know, big shout out to the AV restaurant support group. You know, it's been, uh, Great help to our local, our local family restaurants. You know, Dave and all the admins there, awesome job trying to help and keep everybody open. And uh, with that, we want to thank you again and be sure to watch our next episode. We got some uh, surprises there next time. So, uh, Luempe, right uh, on Avenue P inside the Home Depot Shopping Center, right next to the Squeaky Wheel. And uh, your what is your phone number? Uh, it is uh, 661-575-6743. Awesome. They are on Facebook. They're on Instagram. Show them some love. Tell it, you know, give them some nice reviews. Tell them what you think of their food. We're out. Jaime, yeah, yeah. thank you so much. Victor, thank you again and, and thank you for coming. Yeah, we love you and I'm glad that you're open and I wish you the very best. What's up, baby food crew? Thank you for watching the video. Let us know in the comments what you think of Lu and Pe, and if there's other restaurants you want us to showcase, don't forget to subscribe as we are raffling off $50 in gift cards every single week to our subscribers. And be sure to support the AV Food Crew page at AV Restaurant Support Group. All right, guys, thank you for watching the video and we'll see you on the next one.